People come here, they look at the photographs, they can't have time to consider the photographs, they sit down, have conversations, people have been crying, you know, through, through the evenings with the music, the poetry, people really emotionally connecting with these stories. But everybody has left here with a smile on their face. Everybody's left here feeling positive. Everything I could have hoped for, you know, to have people connect with stories, get really emotional about it, but still feel they could do something about it. This exhibition now is taking a life of its own. So, you know, there's been new work created by Saman the Painter and Al the Violinist has created new work. So, it's a living thing. You know, exhibitions are normally like full stops. You know, you do your work, the photographer turns up on the first night, you never see him again, and it's done. This is the start of something. We are surrounded by the photo and by stories. And I think every one of us is, he has like a story to tell. And art is, is tools. We use them as a human just to get feeling and to produce feelings. We'll show how much we are connected with each other, you know, we, we, beyond anything, whatever, where you are from and where you're born. And it's with this whole idea of bringing people together to get conversations going, collaborations, and community, I kind of had a, a dream of what that would be, but it's, it's kind of gone way beyond that. And, and it's done exactly what I hoped it would, which is it's taken on its life of its own. It's been amazing, you know, more than a thousand people came to this exhibition. We shared so stories, we shared heart-to-heart -heart conversations, you know. When you can create a community and, and collective consciousness, you can, you can change things. Children now here, and all in Syria, and all around the world, should be laughing and playing, I mean, as life should be. Yes, we need more love, we need more peace. We need the world to live in peace. It's been inspiring, really. Really, it's been inspired. His work and this place and humans of London really gives you hope. What else we need right now is a little bit of hope. I don't want to create sympathy. You know, too often we have sympathy for people affected by war. We look at our TV sets, we see people living in terrible circumstances, we feel sorry for them. I don't want to create sympathy, I want to create solidarity. Because in fact, I went through that myself. When I was injured, people felt sorry for me and I hated that. So what we're able to do as, as a foundation through Legacy of War is actually to create this kind of coming together of, of like-minded people, some who've been affected by conflict, some who want to help, and actually really build a community. This has really reinforced my belief that sharing stories, getting people together to share and talk, is something that has to be continued. And this exhibition is just the start of it. So now we've set up officially as a charity, and this foundation is all about creating solidarity with artists around the world, supporting artists affected by conflict, and also the communities themselves that I document. I'm excited, I hope like in five years, I get to go and see the exhibition, and I have nothing to do with it, but it has its own life. <laughs>